Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of November 2021 and I hope you're all well. Thank you very much for all your likes and shares. I've taken the three top ones, uh, the, the views that I got and uh, you are the top this week. So welcome back to first place. Please maintain to keep on subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please do please support the channel it doesn't cost you any money and it doesn't i won't send any funny emails or anything like that it costs you nothing just subscribe and hit the bell on all and if you don't want to be notified then just hit the bell on private but please do subscribe then all the videos will be saved in your library and also the channel so it's easier to find Charlie's Angels Tarot back much easier. You come in with the Nine of Pentacles but before I'm going to start doing the reading remember this is a general if you wish a, a private reading then please find the details below or in the top right hand corner with the angel. Click on that and it will take you to the website. There's a lot of different readings. You have the overall energy of the King of Pentacles. That means that you have the meters touch that everything you touch will turn to gold. But you must do your research. And I would like to stress out, do your research before signing on any dotted line. You also have the Queen of Pentacles. The time is fertile to get pregnant or to start new projects. You could be hearing of a birth, and this could be of a child, this could be uh, of a project, this could also be um, that you're finding out that you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you're not mature, if you're too mature, then you could be hearing that you are going to become an aunt or a grandmother, or your friend is get, giving birth to a baby. Or a new project or is partnering up like getting married because we do have the marriage card here that's the hierophant he's the high priest he marries people and obviously that is awesome now I'm trying to put all the cards uh, in one picture frame they're quite big cards some of them so excuse me for putting it in like this but the hyphen comes underneath the nine of pentacles this lady is closing off a, or you are closing off a phase of life and ending to material difficulties you've got the little snail here and i think he's cute symbolizing um, that it might have taken a long time a slow like a snail uh, a long time to get where you are now in a rich richness and being free the bluebird represents to me the throat chakra archangel michael protection you've got protection and also reminds me be careful how you speak what you say and what you do say what you're going to do and do what you say that will be clear for everybody but she also the bluebird reminds her of the freedom that she now has she's happy and satisfied she's plucking her harvest and that is what the queen does she sows the seeds and then plucks the harvest she's got the green fingers the green touch everything she touches will turn out into a gorgeous harvest perhaps you've been working towards getting married getting information advice because the high priest represents somebody from an institution a head from an institution this could mean that you could seek advice from a father figure or a man that's mature and that you respect and trust or a professional okay could be from the municipal muni municipalities or an other kind of institution you could even seek um, knowledge of spirituality let it be from the church or any other kind of spirituality like reiki or yoga or um, uh, tarot or anything like that you might be seeking uh, advice from a tarot reader or a lenormand reader or anybody from the spiritual 
realm uh, in the spiritual world also you have the page of wands the page of wands um, means news about a child news coming from a child this could also be coming from a younger person uh, taking things under the loop the magnifying glass so be careful look at the small print okay that is the reminder it is stressing me out that i because i want to warn you forewarned is forearmed there is a, something new starting for with tangibility durability and for long term this can be a job this can be a promotion this can be a house that you've had your eye on because we've got the castle and that is really sticking out to me when i put it out on the table you could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius you could be dealing with a Taurus uh, Taurus again Virgo or Capricorn and um, so you could be meeting you could be partnering up with a Taurus or um, a Virgo these two are the couple okay okay now there's a beautiful new offer being presented to you by the cosmos or the divine Take it with both hands, but be aware of what is happening around you. Again, stress, I'm hearing the word stress. I can't stress that enough. That is what I'm hearing. But also don't get stressed. Take time out. You've got the Ace of Cups. Things will be happening very quickly and very fast. Also, you remember that you are in transition. You're transforming into a better period of your life. Materially, also, most probably, spiritually or emotionally. You might be highly sensitive at the moment or more intuitive. Um, and perhaps you might have discovered your intuition or your psychic ability and that's why you seek advice because he is an advisor he is a guide he is can be a teacher because bringing the subconscious into the conscious that is what the keys represent you hold the key to bring your ideas out into the material world and they will deliver with the harvesting the ace of ones all mean harvesting big money coming in okay could be buying a house um the ace of cups you could is that your cup is running over and like i said more intuitive but you could also meet or um couple up with um a cancer scorpio or a pisces those are also very intu intuitive people and psychic people highly sensitive they use their intuition but don't let your heart rule your mind or your mind rule your heart keep it in balance this card the page of swords should be lying like this but otherwise you can't see the other card that's why i've put them before like that is clarifying that there could be news coming about passion or love this could be an invitation to join up as partner could be a proposal to marriage okay that is the page of swords is uh, aquarius so you could be uh, dealing with an aquarius also you have the eight of cups the eight of cups means that you want adventure and excitement you want to break the old routine you are looking um, towards the other side of the stream or onto the horizon you've got the two swans here and they stick together for life again butterflies dragonflies are flying meaning trans uh, transition you are moving forward to this beautiful new beginning you are in your strength because eight means that is a house of strength and the house of money and you've got it twice so you might have more than one choice don't throw an old pair of shoes away before you've got new ones take your time okay it's like don't leave your job because the bills still will be coming in but there's a swift big change coming and it will all happen at once because you've got the eight of wands news you could be traveling for work or going on holiday 
again things will be happening swiftly and it won't rain but it will pour with things happening so get ready gemini for this big change and this fast changing uh change okay so you don't have to worry that you can, um, that you will be stuck in boredom don't worry now also again you house of money house of power so you are in your power don't let anybody tell you what to do and we've got the protest uh, start a revolution so start something new you don't have to protest to everything but you can protest in silence by keeping quiet if somebody asks you a question what do you think about this then think before you say something and keep quiet and then they most probably will say what's wrong why aren't you answering that is the silent way to protest something is coming to an end 28 okay and a new beginning again this new beginning there might be something that you don't agree with that's why you have to do your research and ask uh, advice perhaps because you've got the magnifying glass there you've got the advice card so seek advice do the research and also the king of pentacles doing things quickly and swiftly don't do that because otherwise you if you do things in haste you have to repent in leisure and start start a revolution yes set a new trend be happy with what you've got but it could be an, an idea coming into the material world that will bring you money and that could be a new trend and don't agree with everybody instantaneously protest start a, repu a revolution you've been looking around and noticing that the world is often unjust but you're not sure what to do about it like Katniss you need to be the first spark of your own revolution change transformation educate yourself stand up for yourself okay this also means looking in the mirror what can you imp uh, uh, improve on and also don't always start with the negative but see what, how far you've come name the positive then see the negative or the less positive and then start with a new positive so you will set and reset that mind okay so educate yourself stand up for yourself don't forget to stand up for others whether or not you have shared experiences if you can speak up and do so safely then do it and that is a nice advice um, and again uh, don't don't give your opinion if not asked okay and make people think before they ask the second question let them think motivate them or to or um, motivate and I forgot the other word now make them think so that they are motivated to find their own answer because the answer usually lies within oneself now if you've enjoyed this reading please like and share and subscribe take care my darling gemini i love you very much and have a beautiful week see you on wednesday or on friday and saturday take care bye bye